Hey everybody. So I'm just going to make a video on uh, making an axe handle out of a cherry log. So forgive me, this is my first YouTube video. So just bear with me if it's a little rough or, or whatever. I'm going to try and explain everything. Um, so yeah, so I got a, a customer. Uh, he needs an axe handle for this axe set that he has. Um, it's obviously special to him. So, and apparently can't find an axe handle that fits well, so I'm going to try and make one. So I got this cherry log. I'm going to show you another camera view in a sec. It's, uh, it's got a natural curve to it. Um, what I've done to, uh, to to try and get the best strength out of it is to split it with my fro. So I had this fro made up for my friend. The handle is junk. I was too antsy to, to try it. So I haven't uh, shaped it or anything yet. But um, yeah, he works at a... Uh, um, an arm armored vehicle plant. So this steel, I think it's called AR500. It's, uh, two of these will stop um, like armor piercing bullets or something like that. So anyway, it's been working great. So so I split this log, uh, giving myself um, quite a bit of room here to play with. Uh, almost four inches. I, I might be able to just put it down the middle or cut it down the middle and get two axe handles out of it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just videotape myself making it. So, um, so yeah, anyways, uh, splitting it, that was a challenge, but basically just started by drawing some square lines, pounding the fro in, uh, I had to beat the crap out of it to get it in, and it really took a lot to, uh, to, to split it, but then, um, there was a little bit of a, a bump, so I... I brushed it down with my chainsaw a bit and it's almost almost perfectly flat. So then I've traced one of my axe handles and uh, but then I'm giving it um, a little bit different feel to it. You can see it's more curvy so I really like this hatchet. I really like that um, the style of handle so I'm gonna kind of recreate that here. So you can see, or you can kind of see that the curve of the log. So I'm going to just do my best to utilize that. And so, yeah, I think by splitting it, rather than milling it, I think you get uh, more strength out of the wood because um, you're just keeping all the grain intact. I'm almost done making my shave horse, so I'm going to try and, uh, once I got this cut out, I'm going to um, take, my, or take it to my shave horse and, and draw knife it. Uh, just as traditional as I can, uh, using traditional methods, and, and we'll see how it turns out. So this is part one of my cherry log uh, X handle.